loved ones and all are wishing you well as you create a brand new chapter in the story that's yours to tell. Born in Ballymena Hay in the land of what's the crack, we didn't think when Ange left for uni she'd find a hobby and not be back. <laughs> Dresses, flowers, decor and plans, all inspired from your love of Disney. And what better role models for the perfect day? Let's face it, who's Mickey without Minnie? Take the time to enjoy today as your marriage finally begins. Look around and soak it up, the moment we are in. For this is where the magic starts, when you both say your vows. You pledge to spend your lives as one because of the love you feel now. Sam, it wouldn't be a wedding without the groom getting some important advice. With Ange, whenever you're wrong, just tell her. Whenever you're right, think twice. The constant uncertainty for the past year or two, lockdowns were like a game of roulette. In years to come, when they ask, was the worth wait it? You'll both say, why I pet. <laughs> I'd like to say a very good afternoon to everyone and I'd like to extend a very warm welcome and thank you for coming to witness the marriage of Sam and Angela. So we come to Sam and Angela's story and what of their life together. Well, they met by chance on a night out on the 21st of June, 2011, where they spoke randomly, and it turned out that Sam was with a work colleague of Angela. They became friends for two years, and Angela remembers they shared their first kiss two years <laughs> to the day of their first meeting. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> A year of long distance followed when Angela was living in Northern Ireland and in 2014 she moved to Sunderland to be with Sam. They began living together for eight years, were engaged on Angela's birthday, the 24th of June 2019, and bought their lovely dog Bailey, who was with us today. <laughs> they both love watching football, even if they love different teams, <laughs> and they are happiest when they're chilling at home with a good film or a box set, and of course, spending time with Bailey, <laughs> taking him for walks on the beach, playing fetch in the park. Angela, <laughs> with my whole heart, I take you as my wife. I promise to be faithful and honest and to cherish you always. I will support and encourage you, dream with you, and I'll always believe in you. I will laugh with you and cry with you, and will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst, through the difficulty and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there for you. You are my forever sunshine. <laughs> Um, um, I take you to be my best friend, uh, my faithful partner and my one true love. <laughs> I promise to encourage you and inspire you and to love you truly through the good times and the bad. I will be forever be there to lift you up when you're down and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures in life together. I'm so looking forward to being married to you and to spend the rest of my life with you and just be ha happy together, even though I'll do your head in most of the time. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's expected. Sam, this is your moment. You can kiss your bride. Thank you. <laughs> So may I 
introduce Mr. and Mrs. Williams. And we got no reason to wait. Let the journey take you where it wants to. We'll continue to find our way through anything we face. We got what it takes. And now I'd like to turn everybody's attention to Angela. I'm sure you'll agree, she looks absolutely beautiful today. Oh, honestly, I feel so lucky to, for you to be my bride. You make me laugh every day. You're beautiful, you're intelligent, you're kind and you're caring. And every time I see you smile, it just makes me smile instantly, straight away. We have come a long way together, and honestly, any challenges that come our way, I know we'll be fine. Smash it. Me and you'll smash it, <laughs> no bother whatsoever. So, you make me a better version of myself, and I vow to you today to continue to try and justify the faith that you've given us. Honestly, I love you. I love you. Can everyone raise a glass to Ange? I didn't sort of want to talk too long because sometimes I can go sort of quick. I was at, when we first came to Sunderland, me and Val, we actually thought that Sunderland just went for the royalty to the Lampton Worm and back up. We, th we, th we didn't know, we didn't actually know that there was more to the town than that. Angela's first day at university. You see, just stood there on the main, in between the Royal and the Lambton Warham, that's the only place we ever were. And anyway, the bus came anyway. So me and Angela had never been apart from the day she was born. That's what that. So she got on this bus and I goes, are you bringing her back here? And he sort of stared down me like that. And I goes, are you bringing her back here? Meaning after the day, will you drop her off here? Are you bringing her back here? And he just kept stunned. And I went to get for her and I looked at Ange for a wee bit of help and she had a read. She had a head buried in between her legs by this time. And I said, he's bringing her back here. And the guy shut the doors and drove him off. I said, hey, well, what's wrong with him? She goes, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with you? And I said, the next, next thing she goes, oh, Jesus, the police coming to Among Sam being wise, he's a very, very understanding man. He's empathetic. He's a great listener. And he is, he is mine. He is an incredible listener. He's a great supporter. And it doesn't matter what corner you're fighting. He's diplomatic. And he'll find a way to support you. He's a hard worker. He's great.
grafted and grafted and grafted since the day I met him. And I don't think Sam's ever, ever painted anybody in a bad light until the day after this speech. <laughs> and Ange, I think you're an absolute wonderful human being. I really do. You're a wonderful human being. You dedicate yourself to look after other people in times of need. You look after Sam in his times of need. He's got a lot of needs. And I think it is safe to say that you've definitely made my best mate the happiest man in the world today. I just wanted to say, and I'm sure they all remember, but they were actually to get married last year, but because of the pandemic and that, but I'm just that glad that everybody got here. So I would ask you to raise a glass and wishing Sam and Angela a very long and happy life. Sam and Angela.